Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. It's Pastor Eric and... Cambria Carpenter, Pastor Eric's daughter. <laughs> um, and we are going to model yet another spiritual discipline, but two questions for you, Cambria. One easy, one hard. If you need to say, I don't know on the hard one, that's okay. All okay. right, first question. Mm -hmm. What is my personal favorite prayer in the Bible? That would be the Lord's Prayer. Yes, easy answer for her. Now, harder one, why do you think Jesus gave us the Lord's Prayer? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's a very complex question. Well, that's true. I think there's a couple of different answers okay. for it. I shared I, before, it helps us. With a mindset, um, Lord, it, it sets our day, um, it sets our thinking on the things of God, the kingdom of God, uh, the work of God, all those kind of things. I was thinking of um, this story, I'm not going to read the whole parable, but it's from Luke 18, and it says simply, Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. And then he tells the parable of the, the persistent widow with the unjust judge, and she keeps pressing and pressing and pressing in mm -hmm. until finally the unjust judge gives her justice. Hmm. And, and Jesus uses that to say, keep pressing in in prayer. Keep praying and praying for the things that you want. Even if you don't know, you don't see the answers, you don't know if you're being heard, you keep pressing in. And I think he gave us the Lord's Prayer that we would keep praying the Lord's Prayer, keep pressing in, that we would learn to be persistent in prayer. So I do that conversationally, sometimes every line, sometimes a little bit shorter, and we choose one line from the Lord's Prayer that we'll pray the Lord's Prayer together, pause, and then pray some conversationally, mm -hmm. and then finish the Lord's Prayer. Would there be one line in the Lord's Prayer that you'd like us to pause on and pray? Um, oh, I might have to say the thing in my head real quick to get it. That's okay. Okay. We have all the time in the world. <laughs> Um, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Okay. It took me a little bit to get to Yeah. It's a, one later in that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we will we'll pray the Lord's Prayer together, and then we'll pause at that line. Okay. okay? Um, so let's quiet our hearts for a moment. So Jesus, we are so thankful that you have a ministry of prayer, that you intercede for us, for the Father. So thankful, Holy Spirit, that you have a ministry of prayer as well. You intercede with us. So Lord, we'd like uh, to join our prayers with yours, with your intercessory prayers. Would you fill us, Holy Spirit, and would you guide us as we pray? Can we say uh, the Lord's Prayer together, pausing after the prayer of guidance and spiritual protection? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So Lord, it, it feels that we are in the midst of a, a trial. Um, and the whole world, Lord God. So we ask that you would lead us out of this trial, Lord. Mm. 
Lord, I feel um, like a lot of people are scared or worried, um, which is normal for what's happening right now, but um, help us not to turn to um, selfish acts or um, sins that would make you unhappy, um, but help guide us through you and um, help guide us in bringing peace. Yes, Lord, we, the, the prayer, deliver us from evil, Lord. Um, would you help us to be mindful of how the enemy would want to tempt us in this time of anxiety and fear, uh, just as Cambria prayed? Lord, would you help us to uh, recognize his lies, uh, recognize his manipulations? Um, Lord, and turn away and resist the enemy. Lord, help us not to to compromise who we are in this time of a pandemic, uh, but continue to live um, for you, continue to live in righteousness. Lord, we want to join our voices um, with all of the people praying around the world that you would end this pandemic, that you would lead us out of this time. Lord, we, we trust you. We know that you're going to use good in the midst of this, that the enemy has planned um, this evil, uh, this advancement of the kingdom of darkness uh, to take lives, um, to uh, reduce our lives, Lord God, and yet you'll take this and use it for good, Lord God. We trust you, Lord Jesus. And so we uh, pray all of this, Lord, not for our own kingdoms or our own power, Lord God, or our own uh, sense of worth, but all for you, Lord God, that, that you would receive all the glory and the honor and the praise for ending this pandemic. And so we pray for yours is the kingdom and the, the power, power and, and the, the glory, glory forever. forever. Amen. Amen. I almost said the wrong words. That's okay. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks, everybody. Um, it was fun to pray with you. And time. All right. God bless you. <laughs>